Hello Righteous, welcome to day 164 of 365 Days of the Righteous, your daily dose of righteousness consciousness. Proverbs 12 verse 13, the wicked is ensnared by the transgression of his lips, but the righteous will come through trouble. The wicked are trapped by their own words, but the godly escape such trouble. Now, what wicked people say gets them into trouble. But the conversation of good people keeps them out of it. To be ensnared is to be trapped, to be captured, to be seized, enslaved, or controlled by. Proverbs 6 verse 2 says, You are snared by the words of your mouth. You are taken by the words of your mouth. Wicked people say evil things because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. They can't help it. An orange tree will produce oranges, not mangoes. The evil things they say become a trap by which they are caught. And Moses sent 12 spies to survey the promised land. Remember, 10 of them brought an evil report. Numbers 13 verses 32 and 33. And they gave the children of Israel a bad report of the land which they had spied out, saying, The land through which we have gone as spies is a land that devours its inhabitants. All the people whom we saw in it are men of great stature, there we saw the giants, the descendants of Anak, came from the giants, and we were like grasshoppers in our own sight, and so we were in their sight. They brought an evil report, and they were trapped by the words of their mouths. They did not see the promised land. But Joshua and Caleb, who honored the Lord and brought a good report, came through all the trouble that befell all those that did not believe in the Lord. They were the only ones, 20 and above, that entered the promised land. Challenges will come, but the righteous will come through trouble. Some troubles will pass over us, some by us, some don't even come near us. But I tell you, we go right through a lot of them. Being righteous doesn't mean there won't be trouble. Every human being will experience one form of trouble or the other. But the righteous are not alone. God has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Hebrews 13 verse 5. In Psalms 91 verse 15, God says concerning the righteous, He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. Remember Daniel and the three Hebrew men in Babylon. They got into trouble with the highest authorities that existed then. But they came through those troubles untouched, unharmed. Daniel threw the lions then, and Mishael, Ananiah, and Azariah, also known as Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, through the fiery furnace. Hello, righteous. The challenges you are going through will not consume you in Jesus' name. Now, just as the wicked are ensnared by the words of their mouths, the righteous is also enveloped by the words of their mouth. Watch what you say when you face challenges, even before you get into any form of challenge. Remember, we read a few days ago in Proverbs 12 verse 6 that the mouth of the upright shall deliver them. Now to round up today's broadcast, let me give you something to think and say over yourself. But now, O Jacob, listen to the Lord who created you. O Israel, the one who formed you says, Do not be afraid for I have ransomed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you go through deep waters, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up. The flames will not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I gave Egypt as a ransom for your freedom. I gave Ethiopia and Seba in your place. That is Isaiah 43 verses 1 to 3. Praise God. The righteous will come through trouble unhurt, unharmed. Not even the smell of the trouble will be on them. Thank you for joining me on today's 365 Days of the Righteous. Have a blessed day.